Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Windows subsystem Android with a Google Play Store and Magisk using uh, Magisk and WSA Local. Now the new version is local because this is all done on your machine. The old version of this repo got removed due to GitHub's terms of service. It was violating it supposedly. Um, that's what their support told me. So now they have this local version that doesn't do it through GitHub Actions. So oh, download Ubuntu uh, for Windows uh, for WSL on your Windows 11 machine. And we're going to clone this repo here. I'll put the link in the description. And then we're going to go into that. And we're going to run this run script. So once you cd it into the Magist folder, run this script. Um, if this is your first time running it, you're going to have a lot more dependencies and things that may not be installed that are going to have to be installed before you get to this page. Uh, so once you get here, select your architecture. Most people it's going to be this x86. Um, so just select that if you're unsure. <coughs> and then um, I'm going to select the Windsider, in Windows Insider Fast Ring or the dev channel. I'm on the stable release of Windows 11, but um, you can still select the newer versions of WSA and it will work no matter what. So uh, that I just want the newer version of Android if there is one. So uh, Magisk, got everything else I'm going to keep, default, yes, Pico, yes, yes, okay. So I'm going to pause this while it does this thing, it's going to take some time, uh, it may hang with like no output for some time, uh, don't freak out if that happens, it may be like one or two minutes, sometimes three, depend uh, maybe longer if you have an older machine, you know, so don't panic, it takes a little bit, so we'll be right back. Alright, we're back, and then you should see this output where it says done, done, and that means we're good to go. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our folder. Uh, so open your uh, fi files. Uh, go to down to the bottom under this PC and select your Linux. Go to your Ubuntu machine. Go to home folder. Where is that? Here it is. Uh, go into your user and then go into the github repo we downloaded and then there's this output folder that wasn't there before so we'll copy everything in this folder if you already have a previous installation you can go ahead to the folder you previously uh, made otherwise you can create a new folder my folder is in uh, CWSA that just makes it easy to get to I'm going to paste everything in here <coughs> And if you already have stuff in here, you can just paste it over it. No worries. You won't lose any apps or data or anything. And then replace it. And... And once we got that, this is your first time installing it, or if you're receiving a permissions error, um, go ahead and copy this uh, here from the GitHub repo page. It's the PowerShell execution bypass uh, file install PS1. So normally, if you've done this already, you can what you can do is you can go ahead and run with PowerShell. However, some people that might not work. So if that's the issue. Go ahead, open Windows Terminal, and open an administrator version. I just control uh, plus. You can also go to the Start menu. And you, uh, Terminal. You guys probably know how to do this, but and then run as administrator. All right. So let's go ahead, run this command. Oh, didn't copy. So let's get it again. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Here's our administrator one. Oh, forgot. We gotta go into that folder. So CD C WSA. That's the folder I pasted my stuff into. Paste this, enter. Uh, this may take a while. So sometimes it hangs. This time it went right away. I was really surprised. Uh, sometimes it does this will like freeze on a part for a minute or two, but it will finish. So don't worry about it. Patience is key. So you can see it's run a launching Magisk, it's launching the Play Store. Uh, you'll be able to log in your Google account and all that if you haven't already. And that's how you do it. That's all there is to it. This is the easiest way I've found to get this done. 
other other methods, other repos, but uh, this guy's method seems to be the best in my opinion. So uh, please like, uh, subscribe, and let me know if you have any feedback or anything else you'd like to see. Thank you, guys.